please imagine English. My favorite thing to think about usually is architecture. I like history very much, especially uh, the Industrial Revolution, the Victorian Age, and the Napoleonic Wars. Hello, I'm Leo Park. I'm a middle school student, and I enjoy drawing very much. I think uh, if you asked me how long I've been drawing, I'd say all my life. But if you ask me how long I've been creating artworks, I'd say about three years or so. My mum and dad, they always take me out somewhere on the weekends, and every time we got back, I'd uh, go to my room with dad and with dad I would draw something we saw so in summer 2021 I went to London and looking at those London buildings I grew to love architecture and I went around every day sat on the pavement and drew those buildings and that's how I began to like them. I feel uh, as I draw every single column and arch and window, balustrade and facades and dome I really think about how they come together to make one beautiful building and I like to draw each and every one of those architectural details and how they make up this one building and creating that building again on my piece of paper. It's a drawing of London from the west looking towards the east and here is the famous clock tower known as Big Ben and it's one of the most famous landmarks in the world. Here's the famous uh, Ferris wheel, the London Eye. This is the South Bank Centre. Here's the Tower of London and Tower Bridge. Polly always supported me during, uh, during my life. I think the biggest way in which Polly supported me, I mean my dream and my career, without Polly I'd never have gotten good at English. But it's all thanks to Polly, and uh, I think, that I can speak English better than I can speak Korean. Like Sort of a drawing of a big port city like New York City or uh, Yes, new, a big drawing of New York City would be a nice analogy because a big port city, the port is like a gateway to the world. Like Polly, you learn how to communicate with the world. It, for me, it was sort of a gateway to a, a gateway to the world because without Polly, without the English education and the way of thinking and reading and so on, I would never have been able to communicate with the foreign people and the rest of the world.